It's perfect. A little table by a second floor window. A hill. The harbor. This is a place to think. Bitterly cold this morning. The air full of wood smoke and fish. It smells like pumpkin. I could stay in a place like this forever. The open land, the open sea, an old wood stove, and endless mornings. Church bells, like a tiny hand on the back of your neck. Open the window and let in the sun, the wind. Look out over the peeling face of a house, the busy crows, the bare arms of trees under a curdled sky, and think, this is now lurking. Twilling gate, where I watch an old man slowly, daily, tear his house to the ground. Where I watch a woman string up little baby jumpers on a line but never see a baby, where I begin to learn to doctor. The air full of wood smoke and fish. This is not my place. I watch, I listen. The shush of the waves, the flesh-colored sky, I begin to learn to doctor. I could stay in a place like this forever. Morning. Maybe. I step into all my clothes and outside into the blackness. The moon, still high and wild, parts the clouds and spills over the fidgeting harbor. The open land, the open sea. There is the one who slumped in my hands like a featherless bird. The one so thin at the end, she wore her wedding band on her index finger, her cavernous cheeks, her mouth agape as though she'd swallowed the night sky. And the one no more than a boy, his eyes half open, glazing, the bruise blooming over his chest as I pound and pound, my legs shaking. And in the roar, a silent center where I watch him, me breaking his ribs keep his heart pumping. Church bells, like a tiny hand on the back of your neck. Open the window and let in the sun. Look out at the curdled sky and think, this is now. <laughs>